Hello Virgo. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So some of you may have been in a relationship. This could be a situationship as well. For others of you, you could have met somebody where you have a whole lot of connection. You feel this connection, but no one's really speaking up. The relationship could have been in the past. It could be a current relationship. Interesting. It is a past life spiritual connection you're dealing with here. For those of you who are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do have the ability of channeling through my higher intuitive self to get the answers that I need. I do not channel through any spirit guides. I never have. At the end of this reading, I do channel... Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel to provide you with some advice based on what comes up today. Virgo, very problematic cards. We have here one, two, three, four cards that are absolutely huge, very impactful, a lot of feelings and emotions here. This is your person of interest. However, because of the intensity of the cards, especially with the mystery card, which is my past life card, it could be possible that you are also feeling this. Here we have first card, the strongest relationship, followed by order. Then we have mystery, responsibilities. Sorry, wow. <laughs> Not responsibilities, but we do have responsibility right here. Mystery, then we have boundaries. Okay, they're putting boundaries on the responsibilities. They don't want to be held responsible or liable for anything. Interesting. Accountable accountable either. We have here, if you hear a whisper, guys, don't freak out. That's me whispering. I sometimes hear it in my mind and before I forget it, I see it. I whisper it to myself. That's just me. Here we have mothering followed by grief, beliefs, selfhood, and then we have responsibility. Under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Virgo, I see you with others, and I like what I see. I want to be a part of that. Many moons, many nights have gone by, and I have just stayed awake, lying in bed, thinking what it would be like to be with someone like you. What would I have to do? Who would I have to be? I see how others treat you, and how you treat others, and I like what I see. The feeling is very intense, is quite mutual. I also feel that in this connection, there is this need to make amends and to have a better understanding as to why certain things are happening the way that they are. There is a need to be more clear, to have that sense of clarity and that sense of understanding. I do not have that. I feel as if I lack that understanding and that clarity. Everything around me right now, it's so confusing. I feel lost. I feel as if I cannot cope because I don't know what decision to make. There's certain things that I want to do, certain things I want to say, certain things I even want to be. But I do not know 
on this path? Which way to turn? Should I move forwards, backwards, left or right? I don't know. I feel that in this connection there is a lot of strength. But what is the use of strength if, if there's no direction? I am afraid I may make a mistake. I'm afraid I may repeat the wrongs that have happened already. And this is because I do not know where this connection is headed. I do not know where I am headed in this connection because I know there is emptiness. There is a white field, a blanket, and I cannot see beyond that. I cannot move beyond that. I feel stuck. And yet I wonder, why would the universe put me in such, such a situation? The situation that I'm in right now, I feel a spiritually very strong bond. But why would this happen? If I was to be so confused, this lack of clarity, why? I question the heavens, I question the universe. Why have you come into my life? Why now? Why not before? Why not long ago? Do you and I have something in common? When I see you, when I think of you, I do feel as if I've known you from before. I do feel that we have a spiritual connection. Not only that, but I also see and I feel that in this lifetime, you have been someone who has changed my life completely, and I have had a spiritual awakening. And I feel maybe you have too. I can smell your scent when you are not there. I can feel your presence beside me, even though you're not there. And sometimes in my dreams, I don't want to wake up because you're there. And it's so soothing and comforting to know that somehow, even if we are not together in the 3D, in the spiritual realm, you and I know each other. I take comfort in that because there are boundaries. These boundaries that exist between you and I, they are so vast. They're huge. I want to go beyond these boundaries now. I don't want there to be boundaries anymore. Yes, before I was scared and I was confused. But these boundaries really are breaking me. I do not like this distance between us. Because in you I have found someone who is very nurturing, caring, protecting, loving. You have this way of having this unconditional love that you give. And I have recognized that finally. How could I have been like this with somebody who has loved me so much? It is wrong the way I have treated you. And now I grieve. I am sad. I have feelings of remorse, guilt, regret, sadness and melancholy. I am over, I'm overcome by these feelings. I feel that I'm losing you because I overindulged and I took you for granted and I did not value you. I feel this and I know this, and this has caused you pain, but this has also caused me pain now because of the things that I have done. This should never have happened, but it did. There's a part of me that also feels that in this connection, our beliefs have been so different, so vast, so unique. A part of me feels that 
you and I have come from such a different background. We have come from different places, born and raised in a very different way. And my mindset versus yours is quite different, is quite unique, but we do not think the same because we are not the same. Our differences keep us far apart. Our differences create boundaries. We do not see eye to eye. We are not on the same page. And because of these beliefs, these rituals, these customs, these traditions, this gets in the way of the way I want to be with you. Now I see you as somebody who has moved on. You've had enough. And no longer are you that person that you once were. A long time ago, I felt like I could approach you. I could talk to you. But now it seems as if you are unapproachable. I feel intimidated by you. Now you are more self-sufficient, self-reliant, independent. You don't need me. You don't need anybody. This is what I feel. This is how I feel. Overall, many times I have been very unreliable, inconsistent. I've never really been there for you when you needed it the most, especially that last time. The problem is now that there's a part of me that really wants to be responsible. But how can you know this? Because there are boundaries. Going forward, I want to be that person who can take responsibility, who can take on those burdens on my shoulder. I want to be that person for the things that I've done in the past and for the things that are to come. I want to be responsible. It is hard for you to see. It is hard for me to express. But it's very important that somehow this confusion and the clouds dissipate and the way forward can be finally seen and I can actually move forward and break down these boundaries because I grieve and I want you to know that everything that I've done in the past I have now buried in the past. I want to be a new person and be a responsible person going forward into the future with you. All right. Wow. Virgo. There's a lot going on here. A hell of a lot. There's so much. What happened? Tell me in the comments below, guys. We have here confusion. We have boundaries. We have somebody here who's not seeing eye to eye. Somebody here is definitely sad. They felt that they lost the other person. With the beliefs card, this is a huge card. Because this entire reading is based on this card now. This means that in this connection, there has been boundaries based on the differences that have occurred between the both of you. You are either from different religions, different cultures, different backgrounds. Somebody here is rich. Somebody here is not so rich. You're from a different society. Your workplace may be restricting you. Certain traditions, the mindset, everything here that has pushed you far apart, anything that is pulling you far apart, that is because of the beliefs. This could be internal beliefs that you have, or it could be societal beliefs that people are putting onto you, your, your friends, your society, the way that you are. It's 
a very, very complicated situation. What's interesting, however, right, is, and I know everybody has their own beliefs, They have, everybody has their own cultures, and I totally respect that. That's the way it's been. And there's a reason why it is the way that it is. Um, we are all human, right? You cut us and we bleed red. Same color, right? We are all from the same sort of ancestry. And we are dealing with a situation here where there is so much difference that nobody's seeing the commonalities. If it's safe, sure, be together. But if it's not, you got to be careful. It just depends on where you're from. I get people that watch these videos from all around the world. So based on your culture and your values, you have to be a little careful. Why is it that people fall in love even though they're from completely different beliefs? It's because we're people. It's because we have a mind, body, spirit, a soul. The other person has it too. They have organs. We have organs. We have blood. They have blood. We are the same. It's people, right? Faith and certain beliefs, it does push us apart. However, if that was the only person on planet Earth that you were stuck with and you had to propagate, <laughs> you have to have babies in order to remake human civilization, would you actually be with that person? Absolutely. Why not? The thing is, people don't think like that. They don't believe that. Why? It's literally because of their beliefs. They are so strong and they feel that this is the right thing because that's all they've ever known. So we cannot actually blame anybody. We cannot force our opinion on anybody, anybody, because if this is what they were born and brought up with, that is all they ever know. And they think that that's right. Same for us, same for Crosswatcher, whatever happens in this connection, you need to understand that people come from all sorts of backgrounds, right? Experiences. And we have to deal with an individual according to what they've gone through through their experiences. That's why they do the things that they do. That's why they are who they are. All right, let's have a look here. Wow. <laughs> Flyer. Okay, so let's have a look. I had a card that fell down. <clears throat> We have here justice. So what is this deck? This is the Lover's Path Tarot. All right. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. And what I like to do with this deck, I read it in the reverse for those of you who are new. The first deck that you just saw, that is actually <clears throat> the information I give you, which is the current status, the present status of the person. What are they feeling for you like as of now? Okay. This is something that I look into the past during that time when things were fine, but then all of a sudden something went downhill. What happened? Your person of interest did not talk to you. They did not tell you what it is that they were feeling towards you. These feelings led to a lack of closure. Their actions, there was no closure for you. They may have faded. They may have ghosted you. They may have acted in a way like very much like a stranger and you're just wondering, you know, what the heck happened? They did not tell you. This is hopefully going to help you to understand what it is that was on their mind. And here I have Justice as well as Ace of Cups and I will be reading them in the reverse. Justice. This talks about how back in the day with this person, there was a lack of justice. There was a lack of wisdom, a lack of fairness, and this person was acting very detached. Here, there was a lot of frustration with bureaucracies and organizations. There you go. Having a lot of impatience. This person started to grow very impatient. The appearance of this card shows that this was a temporary situation, but did things actually move on? Justice will be done. Did it actually? Here we have frustration with bureaucracies 
or organizations. This shows me that belief related issue that we just talked about. That is the problem. Beliefs, bureaucracies, and organizations, religious organizations, any sort of um, societal organization, doesn't have to be religious, could be anything else, any sort of rich society versus somebody who's poor, right? So there's something here where it's an external organization, an external society that is causing the problem in this connection. The society could literally be your entire family, right? Maybe your entire family doesn't like this person. That's your society, okay? So it is definitely something um, that's associated to a grander, like larger group. And it is because of that group's beliefs that this person felt that, you know what, I don't know if I can do this because my people say this and I want this. That's the issue here. And can you turn your back on your society? If they boycott you, will you be able to survive? If you go and visit them, will they ignore you? If you visit their shop, are they going to tell you to get out? No, we don't serve you. That happens. I've been there. That happens. People actually say that, believe it or not. <laughs> wow. It is bad, but it is life. These things happen. We have here Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. This talks about how in this connection things may have seemed very emotional. There was a lot of inspiration and satisfaction in the beginning, but things started to change. Even though this may have seemed like an important love relationship or even a nurturing friendship, there was an issue here where there was a rejection of another's affection. Here, there was a desire to be with someone, but somebody's affections that were being expressed, somebody else was rejecting that. You were expressing yourself to this person, Virgo, and they were rejecting your affection. They were putting creative blocks on this affection because they had this sense of disillusionment with love and there was sadness and there was melancholy. Why? Because they knew no matter what happens, it ain't going to work with my Virgo because my people, they're just the way that they are. They're not going to change. They're not going to budge. I don't know if I can be with my Virgo. I don't even know. There's no use of my Virgo giving me all of this attention when I can't give this attention back, nor the respect that they deserve. That is something that happened here. This is very deep, guys. Very on a much deeper level. This is so deep that it would have caused a fight if somebody would have talked about this. And it probably did for some of you. You guys must have argued about this at some point in time if there were differences. Virgo, that's that. I mean, let me know in the comments below if any of that resonates. There's external people here that are causing the problem and, you know, the difference in opinions here, right? All right. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Here I have the Beginner's Tarot. Oh my. Interesting. I had this in another reading. First card. And they are bound very much. A lot of boundaries. You got a peekaboo card here, don't you? <laughs> um, that is the fool. All right. So, what do we have here, Virgo? The Eight of Swords. Clearly, your person of interest does not have the freedom that they want. Clearly. They are caged. They are bound. Here we have, and that's metaphorically, hopefully, that's metaphorically, 
Um, we have here someone who's been blindfolded. So somebody here doesn't want anyone to see, to even hear or talk about the situation that they're in. This is, this would be somebody who's like a rival for you. This is the opposite person that doesn't want your person of interest to be with you. Now, here we have, they're blindfolded. They can't see, they can't hear, they can't move. Their arms, legs, feet, hands are tied. There's no action being taken because they can't. They're being restricted and, if that wasn't bad enough, they are surrounded by swords. They cannot move forwards, backwards, left or right, can't even move in any direction. They are caged. And far in the distance, somebody there is watching them like a hawk. Wow. This person is completely dominated by somebody else. They are under the rule of someone else or some sort of society that they're in. It doesn't mean actual society. It could be family-related dynamics. It could be an actual religious society. But it could also be the type of friends or family that somebody's near. Whatever makes their society, that sense of bureaucracy and organization. It could also be somebody may be literally in an organization and they are being restricted from being with somebody else because they are either... In a competitive nature, it may be clause in the contract. If they're working in a company, maybe you're not allowed to date somebody um, that's from the same company or maybe somebody who's a rival company. I have some people who um, get readings from me, the clients, and they're from the military. Amazing. Um, God bless them all. They, for example, find it very difficult because somebody may be posted on one side of the country and the other person's on the other side. So it's very difficult to get a transfer. It doesn't happen, right? So that is the sort of beliefs and the obstacles that one may feel. I'm getting the word hindrances, hindrances and obstacles that one may feel because of other organizations that have more of a hold on an individual. So it could be any sort of obstacle. But whatever it is, it is external. That is the problem here. It's something that's external that's causing the issue. We also have here the two of wands. Your person of interest actually has thought about it long and hard and they realize what they want to do. They want to date you. They want to actually be with you. They have finally made that choice. We also have here an action card. Excellent. Yes, the Knight of Pentacles. Your person of interest has thought long and hard about this. And they do want to be in your life. They do want to be that person. They're going to come into your life slowly, steadily. They've thought about it long and hard. And they do want to make an offer. However, before that happens, we also have here the Seven of Wands. There are a lot of issues. There are certain things that this person has to overcome before they even reach out to you. There's certain responsibilities they need to take care of certain responsibilities that they can delegate to somebody else. Because at some point in time, here we have the seven of uh, wands, at some point in time, the, the nine and the 10 may happen, and this person may be extremely overwhelmed. So they're actually being proactive, and they're trying to get rid of any sort of issues they may encounter, which is very clever, actually. That's pretty smart. We also have here the fool card. Your person of interest truly does want to be with you. They want to take a leap of faith and be with you. But the problem here that we're seeing is the fact that when we're in this sort of a situation, we have an individual who may be taking action first and thinking later. The problem with this sort of a situation is that they may make a lot of mistakes. This is somebody who has not thought about it long and hard. They have not truly thought about the entire situation and move forward in a very logical way. They're very impulsive, compulsive, and maybe even aggressive the way that they think. The communication that you may have with this person may be very brief in a, in a sense. I'm seeing here somebody not even listening to the full conversation, but also hanging up just because they feel very strongly about their own opinion. What I'm seeing here is somebody who, and this is your person of interest, if they come to you in this sort of manner, with this sort of mindset, the problem is the connection may finish as soon as it had started. So you have to be careful. In this specific connection, Virgo, I see that it's going to have to be you 
who should be the lead, you be the person who's leading this connection because it does seem that it may not work out in a promising way if this person leads. This person also needs not only a leader, but somebody who can guide them and show them a different perspective regarding relationships. Because all of their beliefs, it's on one side. You were there to show them the other side of the coin, right? That's what it is. Here we have nine of cups. Your person of interest here, um, definitely the overall arching theme. They wish for you. They desire you. They truly do want you. And it is from the heart. It's straight from the heart. So there's no doubt about it. Your person of interest does want you. It's just that they feel very restricted, almost to the point where they have never really matured because you don't have a king here, right? You have a fool and you have a knight, somebody who's very young in the sense that they may be very immature. They could also be, they could also be very inexperienced. I'm also getting the word introvert. Somebody here may be an introvert. Um, but whatever it is, I feel it would be beneficial in this connection, if by chance you want to reach out to this person, if they reach out to you, I'd recommend that you be the person who leads the connection. You set the pace, you set the boundaries, you set the rules. Because this person, they need that sort of help and guidance. All right. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right, I have here Archangel Answer Cards, and these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. Very interesting. So <clears throat> we have a set of cards here. Be assertive. Yep, that's exactly why you have to be the lead in this connection. So we have here, ask your angels. First card is the strongest. They are saying here for you, this is to pray to the divine. Now, the, re the reason why I say to pray to the divine, it's because in order to connect to the angels, that's how you kind of go through their managers and then the angels are the employees. So you can pray to the divine. This is either the Christ consciousness or even beyond that, who we call the holy light of God. Remember to say the holy light. And when you get there in your mind's eye, you can call upon Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel to guide you and to protect you through the entire situation that you're in. Tell them what your issue is and request to them and give them permission on what you want and how they can help you. Here, eventually, you have a really beautiful card. The situation will improve, and that is huge. That is a very strong card to have. Um, so, yes, don't worry about it, Virgo. The situation that you're in right now, your situation, it will improve. And this will all happen in divine timing. Perfect timing will occur when you'll know the time is right, when you will take action. In the meantime, they are saying to be more connected to your spirit, your mind, body, spirit, soul, right? Be very connected because here you will get answers. Ask your angels, meditation brings answers. So here, even though you'll be asking your angels, meditation, through meditation, you'll be receiving those answers. And that is meditation. It could be 21 minutes minimum. That is what Angel Fake Heal has said. And you can read a little bit about her on my website. That is my personal angel guide. Um, gift to me by God. Isn't that great? Um, we have here, meditation brings answers, 21 minutes and two to three minutes minimum prayer, but you have to mean it. Really mean it. It's like a Wi-Fi connection. The stronger the connection, upload, download, faster speed, everything. <laughs> it works. 
I have experienced it. Now I do it every day. Here we also have, there is something better. So the answers that you will receive are to the questions that you asked, and it will come to you intuitively. Whatever is going to happen in this connection, there's two things. Either there's someone else who's better that's going to come into your life, or the situation will improve and something better in the situation will make you feel a bit more hopeful. And that will allow you to move forward in this connection. And you are recommended here to be assertive. Be assertive. That is exactly what I told you in the past, the last cards that we just had in that deck. I mentioned to you, be the person who's the lead, right? This card talks about being assertive. Let them know what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with. Let them know certain things that you may feel that they need to know regarding a connection, regarding the type of situations that you prefer being in versus what you don't like being in, right? Here we also have you are ready. Here it shows me that emotionally, spiritually, and physically, you are ready with all of the things that have happened in your life. You have experienced a few things, but now you're able to move forward. Yay. That's really good. You're going to be ready to tackle all of this. Virgo, that is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. And for those of you who are new looking for, um, well, let me rephrase that. <laughs> those of you who are new, I have another channel called the Snoincha Audio and the videos there are absolutely free. Please have a look at some of those videos. They, they are on um, past life related relationships, uh, relationship related advice, which is just very practical uh, guidance, as well as I have a video there on negative energies. What and who are negative energies? Also, for those of you who do wish to have any sort of reading, I do have readings available right now. Please do check out my website, www.asnoitia.com. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys again. Take care. Stay safe. Bye now.